hello, Corona Cation, and welcome to day 73. I am here 73. with Tucker Music. Hello. hello. And Tucker has no idea what we're doing no, today. I really and don't. I thought it would be fun to film with him having no idea. So today, Tucker, we are introducing the Bible story that we're going to lead on Sunday. Okay. I know it's a little bit early, but I thought it would be fun. And so I got a couple of things to help the kids out. Um, okay. Our Bible story today is about the man from Ethiopia. You remember where Ethiopia is, right? It's on the African continent. Uh-huh. And which of these places are it? Let's zoom in a little okay. bit. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with this blue one. Oh, Tucker, it is blue. It's this blue one down <laughs> here, though. And I only know that because they make the best coffee. Oh. So, uh, Ethiopian yoga chef, if you're ever wanting to give Corey a gift. So, let's see. Um, I want to go over this Bible story today. Okay. Um, I want to read it. Um, it's found in Acts chapter 8, um, Philip and the man from Ethiopia. And I want to illustrate it at the same time. And so I will give you an option. I know sometimes okay. you don't necessarily like reading. Um, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Um, and drawing, oh man, that could get interesting. And so which would you prefer to do today? Would you prefer to be the reader or the drawer? Corey, I'm going to test my artistic skills through illustration today. Okay, so you will be illustrating this Bible story. Now, yes. um, there's a lot of options here. Do you know the story? Yes. Okay, so you could just get started whenever you want. Um, this is from Acts chapter 8. This is Philip and the man from Ethiopia. Okay. I will do the reading. Tucker will do the art. And man, he's off to a good start. All right, so it says in verse 26, an angel of the Lord spoke oh. to Philip, go south to the desert, only one S, so it's not a desert, <laughs> road, he said, it's the road that goes down from Jerusalem to, to Gaza. Off to a good start. So Philip started out. On his way, he met an Ethiopian official. The man had an important position in charge of all of the wealth of the Kande guy. What's that word? Corey, you Exactly. You know. And that means that it's the queen of Ethiopia. This official had gone to Jerusalem to worship. And on his way home, he was sitting in his chariot. <laughs> chariot? Yes, a chariot. Uh, on his way home, he was sitting in his chariot. He was reading the book of Isaiah, the prophet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The horse is smaller than... That's a horse? <laughs> okay. Oh, I like this part. Verse 29 it says, The Holy Spirit told Philip, Go to that chariot, stay near to it. And man, we need to listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit says, Do something, do it. So, verse 30 says, So Philip ran up to the chariot. He heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. And then this is what he asks He says, Do you understand what you're reading? It's a good question. Oh, oh, oh. Like, there's times where I'm reading, and i got to pause myself and ask, do I understand what I'm reading? Um, oh, did he die? No, he, he's, he's got, like, that body where he's, he's like, running. <laughs> oh, okay. <He's> running. <laughs> so, let's see. Verse 31. How can I, he said. I need someone to explain it to me. So, he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Plenty of room in that little chariot. Verse 32. Here is the part of scripture. He's sitting on it. Here's the part of scripture. The official was reading. It says, He was led like a sheep to be killed. Ooh. Just as the lambs are silent while their wool is being cut off, he did not open his mouth. When he was treated badly, he was refused a fair trial. Who can say anything about this? his children? His life was cut off from the earth. And that's Isaiah 53. So he's reading the scripture. <laughs> that guy comes up and sits on the edge of against. Verse 34. The official said to Philip, Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about? Himself or someone else? 
Then Philip began with the same part of scripture. He, he told him the good news about Jesus. Boom. As they were traveling along the road, they came to some water. You have a blue marker? <laughs> the official said, look, here is water in the sky. What can stop me from getting baptized? He, he gave orders to stop the chariot. <laughs> then Philip and the official went down into the water. Philip baptized him. You're doing pretty good for having no like heads up of what you're about to do. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away. <laughs> See, I would have just done this. <laughs> when they came up out of the water, but the Spirit took Philip away. The official did not see him again. He went on his way full of joy. Yay, yay. Philip was seen next at Azotus. I guess that's a place. I don't know where it is, though. From there, he traveled all around. He was preaching the good news in all the towns, and he finally arrived in Caesarea. So let's see. Uh, you got a lot of wonderful art here. Some of the part of the story that I love is that Philip was told by the Spirit to go talk to this dude, and he went like that. He went and uh, he didn't know what he was going to say. He knew that God is going to help him out. He's going to provide the words to say. Eventually, he is explaining scripture to him. And this guy goes, you know, uh, that's a big deal. Let's, let's, there's water. Let's go do it right now. This part's weird. Yeah, like, that is weird. Just is instantly. God, can you gone. picture that? Tucker's in the baptism thing Sunday morning. He dunks one of you. And then Boom. Tucker's gone. Oh. That'd be weird. Did, like, did, like, did that person fall back? Did like, he fall back into that? Wow, what's going on here? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. But uh, it's a great story with some amazing art. Thank you for checking it out with us today. Um, let's jump into our next video. <laughs> Just so everybody knows who drew this. So how do I start it? Get the space bar. And you're just gonna leave me. Yeah, it's already recording. You're good. Okay. All right. Some or crazy beaver fan. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. There's no way I can't do this. Your name echoes around the world. Your name echoes around the world. Jesus. Psalm 8, 9, no, okay, nothing can ever replace you, obviously don't know what this is, nothing can ever replace you, um, <laughs> crazy beaver fan, yep, crazy beaver fan, um, uh, why are you ignoring me, where are you when I need you the most, psalm, it's gonna be psalm, it's gonna be a psalm, yes, psalm 10, 1, yes, I got it, finally, okay, I got this, we're going, we're going, you made my life complete and put me back together, Psalm, 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 Psalm. Yes, 1820. Okay, woo, I got two. Okay, I'm super excited. Uh, you saved my life, you made me believe. Bieber? Crazy Bieber fan? Ha <laughs> ha, three! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so. My choice is you first and only. Crazy Bieber fan. Absolutely. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, it was 16 5. Psalm, Psalm. Okay, okay. Still have three. I am right here, but you do not see me. Do you even notice me? Crazy Beaver fan. Absolutely. Yes! Okay, so that's four. I have right. Okay, four. Okay, I got this. You rewrote the book of my life. Psalm. No? Yes! 1824. Okay. I think that's five I have. I love winning. You are perfect and beautiful for all. Crazy Bieber fan? For all, though, for all. Yes! That's six. Okay, six. 
Y'all, I'm killing this. His love for us is unbelievable. Song. Because it says hits. Crazy Bieber fan. Oh, man. No way. All right, you are my everything, my purpose, my reason. Crazy Bieber fan. That totally sounds like a Crazy Bieber fan. And it is. Okay. All right, I'm back on track. Let's see. Come on next. Oh, it's over. Song or Crazy Bieber fan. Man, I did great on that. I'm so excited. Thank you, Corey, so much for giving me something fun to play. I mean, wow. That was, I was nervous, but I think I got more right than I got wrong. Awesome. Thank you.